Chasing Hockey with the Blue Futon. Out of the box or out of the wall, whatever you want to call it, we have Shout Factory, Wes Craven's first movie, Deadly Blessing. Have I seen this before? No, I have not. No idea what it's about. But you know what? It has some snakes, spiders, and shocks. Let's see if it's all warranted. <laughs> Deadly Blessing about kind of a weird story actually so it's about an Amish community I want to say and I think in the Amish community between the ages of 16 and 18 you're allowed to go into the real world and see if you want to do it if you don't like it you can come back but one of these siblings went to the real world found a woman they got married but they moved back to the farm and instead of like you know the Amish people using like no John Deere's they're just using cattle horses to plow their fields the son comes back with the John Deere, and he's doing stuff with the land with the wife as well. But the family calls her the Incubus because they think she's basically the devil in disguise or some sort. In the meantime, people get killed. People are visiting to see what's happening, what's happening to these Amish people, what's with the spiders, what's with the snakes, what's with the Incubus, what's with this weird family whipping people, what is with this story about everything happening? And that's why this movie, I, that's going to be my thumbnail right there because I don't know what I watched. I have no idea what I watched. I swear this is five different movies because you have a story of like, there's another farmhouse and there's two women there, or that's what you think. And one of them is painting and doing weird stuff with the painting, but it goes crazy. And you kind of forget about that storyline until something happens at the very end. You're like, what is happening here? Then you have another storyline of the Amish people going into the barn and some people dying in the barn. And who's killing these people? Is it Incubus? Is it this other weird farmhouse? Is it the devil from underneath? Is it the wife? Then you have the wife's friends come into town and what sparks up a kind of a love triangle. Slash the whole spider storyline of the spider telling Sharon Stone what to do in her sleep. I don't know. And then the very end... Because you think something happened, you're like, okay, so this is a normal killing movie with weird, weird twists, which the twists are just thrown at you in the face with like no build up to what's happening to the twist. But then at the very, very end, you know it's a West Korean movie because it's his first one. He uses a lot of stuff in that one for Nightmare on Elm Street and other movies that he's done. But. The multiple endings of what the twists and turns are supposed to be doesn't make any sense to me of what this movie is trying to be. Is it trying to be a religious movie? Is it trying to be an homage movie? Is it trying to be a cult movie? Is it trying to be a love triangle movie? I don't know, guys. I watched this movie so confused of what is happening. Okay, you know what is happening on screen. You really do. You understand who these characters are. Well, maybe a couple of them you don't because it kind of blurs at one point in time of the friends with this other farmhouse lady. But I think that's the problem is you are giving us some characters in the beginning that we do not see them for over an hour later. And then you give us a big twist about stuff that's happening from these characters from an hour in the past. You're like, who are these people? And then the very end, you're just like, so, is it the farmhouse? Was it the Amish people? Was it a cult? Was there really a devil? Like, what's happening? I don't know. And that's what I'm going to say about this movie. I don't know what I watched. Plus, some of the acting. Okay, there's some good acting in this movie, but Sharon Stone in her first role, hilariously bad. It is some beyond horrible stuff going on in this film with her acting. So we'll leave it right there. But the good about this movie, I mean, it looked good. I did like the open atmospheric pressure, uh, atmospheric pressure, atmospheric just environment there. And I always say that a lot. There are some good deaths, good camera angles of viewing these deaths of what's happening. So there are some positives to this film. But I just think the huge, huge issue with this movie is the writing. And they did not know where to bring this movie at all. But yeah, some good kills. Good atmospheric viewing, but other than that, I cannot recommend this at all. This is a weird one, guys. 
Not my cup of tea at all. So Deadly Blessing will receive a 1 out of 5 with Futons. He was at 20%. So this is the Critics News Scores gave this one. So you have the Critics of 14% with only 7 of them. Not surprised. Audience score 28% with 742 of them. No critic consensus. I'm not shocked at all about how weird and awkward this movie actually is. It is the writing that is just a faulty, faulty problem with this movie. But do you agree with the 14, the 20, or the 28? Chase out of the blue futon icon. Subscribe. One of the things is on Topi, Boop, Tony. And thank you for watching. Have a great day. Peace and love. Peace and love. Let's keep it going because I'm going to be moving soon. And there won't, there's going to be a timeline if you're not going to see me for about a month or so because all my stuff's going to be in, in shipment. But hey, let's keep it going. <laughs>